Kitchen. You need some bread? Hey, it looks like we got plenty of it. We, we know where to get it. We're so excited to have Shane here. Also, uh, our area food bank, Zach is here, Zach Wilson. I want to start with you, Shane. Yes. Tell us about this display mm -hmm. and how this just very easy of using your phone uh, and, mm -hmm. and donate and help folks. Fresh bread. Fresh bread to the High Plains Food Bank. Yes, this is part of Mrs. Baird's Fighting Texas Hunger program. It's throughout the entire month of June. So Mrs. Baird should have, it should be in all area grocery stores. Sometimes it takes us a little while to get sure. into all of them, but sure. this month you should look for this display in our area grocery stores on the side, and you can't see it here on TV, but on the side there's a QR code. We want you to donate to the High Plains Food Bank by just taking your, your phone out, scan that QR code. It'll take you to a landing page where you can select High Plains Food Bank, click it once, oh, and good. it will go directly to the High Plains Food Bank uh, website portal where you can make a direct donation. 100% of your donation goes to the High Plains Food Bank. And Mrs. Baird's really wants to help out our folks in hunger, folks in need this, this June. We know school is out. We know that the, sure. the, the school breakfasts and lunches are not taking place during the summer. So we hope that 10,000 loaves of bread to the High Plains Food Bank will help put some food on the tables of those in need here in the Amarillo and Panhandle area. That, that's uh, yeah. pretty neat to do. We'll, we'll have to turn the display here in a little bit yeah. to show people. Yes. But Zach, I, I can't, I mean, what? How, how is, I mean, that is so great when they approach the High Plains Food Bank. What'd you think? What what went through your mind? You know, it's great to you know hear you know what Mrs. Baird's does all across the state, and to all of our partner food banks all across the state, and, and to have this come come here, uh, especially at this time, um, is to be honest with you, a, a little overwhelming in a, in a very good <laughs> sure. way. In a very good way, and because as we know, since last Thursday, lots of things have changed. Sure. In, in our area and lots of folks are affected and um, we didn't really plan on this. We were talking right. about that earlier about, or nobody did actually, of, you know, recent events in Amarillo and Hereford, but um, this is going to really uh, help impact, you know, all of a sudden hundreds and hundreds of folks that have been affected by the recent flooding as well. So it's it's a tremendous donation. Well, and tell us more about that. I said it's it definitely tremendous. I mean, ten thousand loaves of bread is your goal, and just tell us more about that because, of course, you you know encourage community members to come and donate and everything like that. But what about you know partnering with a company like Mrs. Baird's, and just the difference that ten thousand loaves of bread can make for the community? Well, it makes you Texas proud, first Absolutely. of all. Yeah. I mean, um, because uh, Texas company and uh, helping you know our, our Texas folks out, um, but the need for fresh items is always huge. Um, for us at, at the food bank, um, whether it be produce, protein, grains, we're we're always in need uh, of those items, and that's that's what moves the quickest, and that's what's in the highest demand. And as you know, you can do a lot with bread, and um, so we we've already got a you know a plan formulated on how to to get it out to our our surrounding 27 counties outside of Potter and Randall, as well as you know here in the Amarillo Metro and. Uh, there's there's uh, some huge excitement, you know, through all the partners that we serve and and uh, the individuals. So, um, it's it's just a it's it's just a, a wonderful way to help feed folks. And like I said, the timing couldn't be any even better yeah. than it is right now. I feel like Mrs. Baird's is our bread, mm -hmm. and and our we we've, we've known about Mrs. Baird's for since I was a kid. Yeah. And yeah. are are y'all tell me where you're, are y'all out of Fort Worth? We are. In fact, okay, I yeah. grew up, I'm, I'm born and raised here in Amarillo you as well. You are? And okay, was born good. on and grew, and grew up on Mrs. Yes, Baird's as well. So yes. Mrs. Baird's is just baked in Texas. We have four bakeries in Texas, Fort Worth, Rockwell, San Antonio, and Houston. Okay. And it supplies the bread for the entire state of Texas. We are not out, we are not available outside the state of Texas. So we are truly Texas born, Texas bred. And we know a lot of folks, so we, we're familiar with Mrs. Baird's, sure. right? But, but folks coming in from out of state, uh, moving into Texas, may, will have probably have never heard of our company. So we want to let everybody know that this product has been around for over 115 years, and we oh want you to goodness. give it a try. And we have a really great way and reason why you should give it a try. Okay. Because today, June 13th, this Tuesday, the Tuesday only, for every loaf of bread we sell, in the Amarillo area and the Panhandle area, we will donate a loaf to the High Plains Food Bank. Yeah, so, that's big. If bread's on your shopping list. That's big. Go pick up a loaf of bread. Try it if you've never tried it. Pick up a couple of extra loaves. Put it in your freezer. Uh, we want to help the High Plains Food Bank today, so you can help us do that by every loaf of bread we sell. We'll donate a loaf. If you can't 
buy a loaf of bread or it's not on your shopping list, you're gluten intolerant, we certainly understand sure, that. The sure. High Plains Food Bank still needs your help. And I saw a shot a minute ago of that QR code. You can just pause your TV screen right okay. there. There it is. Okay, pause good. your TV good, screen, good, good, good. get good. a shot of that QR code and help out the High Plains Food Bank. Every dollar you can donate goes to a great cause. And I tell you what, they're masters at stretching dollars into meals. So we it, want to hear your help as well. I'm so glad that you said that, Shane. Tell us, you know, the last time that we talked, Zach, uh, one dollar equals how many meals now? Well, right now it's about 13 meals, which is wow. which is still tremendous considering everything that's going on inflation-wise and and everything. But it's all about it's all about you know the donated product that comes into us that helps offset those expenses. Sure. So that is what uh, stretches every dollar that you give to us into into more that we can do with it. And that's what we're doing now more than ever. We're having to bring more food in, just simply because of of the environment, but also you know great donations like this is is what. Um, helps make the difference. Well, and that's definitely a great cause for sure. So let's say somebody at home, you know, maybe they're not heading out of the grocery store here anytime soon. You know, they want to scan the QR code, but they can't right now. Where can they go to make those donations? Where can they reach you online? Well, you know, but really two spots, and, and we're really, really, Mrs. Baird's website. Uh, yes. As the Mrs. Baird's website, there's a, there's a link at the very top right. It says Fighting Texas Hunger. You can click that link. It'll link you, uh, then click High Plains Food Bank, and it'll click you right to the High Plains Food Bank. Or as uh, Zach, you you got a website as well. So. Yeah, hpfb.org, and you know the donate buttons at the top. It'll link you to the same spot. But uh, it's just a, just a great campaign and a, and a great way to help, especially during this time. I don't think that I realized until this very interview that Mrs. Baird's. I knew Texas, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize outside of Texas. Um, right. Sheldon's from New Mexico. Yeah. Um, we have all sorts of you know family that visit. And so I'm glad you told me yeah. that because send a loaf back. With there we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Treat you for some green chili. Right. There you go. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, I'm so glad that you came, and thank, thank you, you for for, us. for telling us. And today again, if you go yes. to the grocery store, you buy a loaf. Mm -hmm. That one will go. One will go to the food bank. So okay. for every loaf we sell, Zach will have a loaf in his warehouse to give to those in need. Yay! Yeah. Absolutely. Yay! Very quickly before we wrap up. How is your clients and, and people that have been displaced from the Amarillo floods? Well, you know, um, Perford too. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, this I know this isn't a, a two-hour segment, but uh, <laughs> as I was talking to others, but it just it's, it's just tremendous hearing the stories um, of, of people who literally lost everything, going to sleep Wednesday night, waking up Thursday morning having nothing of course in, in, in folks in, in, in Hereford in the San Jose community over over Memorial Day uh, yeah. being flooded it just brought in you know at least two to five hundred folks instantly whose lives were changed and need help getting back on their feet and of course food for their families sure. and um, so that's what I said this 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 donation couldn't come at a, at a better time and 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 will help us you know in response because there's going to be some longer term needs that need to be met as we uh, as they try to get back on their feet again sure give me five awesome. all right great thank job you. listen that is so exciting thank you, thank it's you our for pleasure. coming thanks for having us and zach you know we haven't got to see you i know you've been working hard and very busy but please the high plains food bank so important to news channel 10 and our viewers yes. in our community i mean so i'm i'm blown away well yeah. We, we're just so happy. I mean, 115 years of the community supporting Mrs. Baird's, it's, it's the least we can do to give back to our communities that have it. supported us. So. I love it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes.